use a Maruto size 10 C46 FW BL curved or grouped shaped hook. And on that hook, I've placed a 4mm countersunk copper bead. Okay, first part of this fly, we're going to put in a lead underbody. So here, I'm going to use a piece of 2mm flat lead, and I'm just going to wind it onto the bare hook. Not only does this add a bit of weight, but it also takes up a bit of space, save him to use that thread to build up that large space between the hook and the bead. So for my thread, I'm using my fine nano silk. Uh, just starting it off like so, trapping in that lid in place and put a nice tight layer over the lid to make sure it's well secured in. Flat lid is a great weight additive to add to any nymph, even on jig hooks or small, smaller nymphs if you want it. That nymph to get down that bit further. Add a little bit of flat lead to the hook. So once I got that well secured in, I am then gonna use my rib, which is copper sulky. This material, as you can see there, is a fine copper flat tinsel, and it is made by Gutterman, and it's the sulky. Uh, you won't find it in many fly shops, but you will find it in a lot of sewing shops, and that's where I picked that up. So I'm going to tie that in, tie down around the curved hook, secure it in well. Then for my body, I'm going to take some hairs here. I'm just going to dub it onto that thread there. When putting on Dublin, less is more. Start a little bit, you can always add more as you go up along. Just start down at the butt of the fly. And start winding, building that body. Nice tapered body. The whole way up. Can add another piece. This fly is undoubtedly being one of my most successful hair's ear patterns over the years has accounted for countless brown trout and grayling. This is one of those really go boogie patterns <clears throat> that work quite well. And tying it on a four mil, it's a really good early season fly for rooting out those trout that are down in the deep holes. So once I got my body built up to the eye, and then take my ribbon and I begin putting in my turns. Now I like a good few turns of this rib up the body so I could be ending up to 8-10 turns coming up on. Nice even turns up and behind the bead, tie it off like so. Let's take away that waist. There are a couple of turns just to secure it in. And then I'm going to take my ever trusty toothbrush, brush the hair forward over the bead, and then just gently guide it back. Just gets that really nice buggy look. You can just pluck out any of that. just to get it just right yourself. And just to finish off this flight, we're going to take some fox squirrel hair mixed in with a small bit of UV spectra. And I'm just going to put that in behind the bead. Another piece. And just add it in there like so. Then we're just going to tie it off directly behind the bead. Take away our thread. 
brush out the guard hairs of that fox squirrel. Just gives a lovely finish to this fly. Those extra kind of bristly fibers off the, the squirrel dubbing. Give it a nice brush out. And I like giving it a good brush, gets it good and fishy and buggy looking. And there you have it. Very, very simple pattern and very, very effective. Thanks for watching.